Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys. So we are still in the preview demo on the canyon map, and we're still kind of playing around with stuff, testing things out. We were testing out the campfires, seeing if they increase children, and for whatever reason now, we have like a little bit higher of a number um i still don't know if that has to do with the campfires or if that has to do with the average well-being so uh, you know that's a thing that is a thing but it does lead me to believe that it might be more than a thing so yeah i'm just trying to trying to see what we got going here honestly all right so we're almost across here because yeah our our little dudes right here no i didn't mean to click on the dude that dude yeah they can't reach these handful of trees right here that's the problem um does it cost anything to build a lumberjack no it just costs workers so you know what i'm just gonna put a lumberjack right there we're gonna see what happens maybe i can get a hold of these trees here it well, looks like it it does look like it. So that might be a good thing. We might actually just pause this guy. Let two of the beavers come down here. Let them grab these trees. Those trees will help build this platform. This platform will give us access to all this. And yeah, it should be good. Should be good. Be even nicer if some of the trees that we had planted would grow. Okay, so that guy is in the cut area. Oh, they're starting to get potatoes now. Starting to bring in the potatoes. And we just need three more planks and we'll have the road right there. Okay. One more plank, guys. One more plank. There it is. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shut this guy down. That way I can build up my log supply a little bit. Oh, the birch are coming in. That's a good thing. Always a good thing to see the birch coming in. Uh, let me get... Speaking of the birch. And just throw in some more over there. Alright, so now we have potatoes being grilled. Well-being is up to seven. So nutrition number two is coming up. There we go. All 
All right. Well, we should have plenty of access to trees now. We've got plenty of access to food. Water's not too bad. We'll see come the end of this super long dry season, but they are working on these other water tanks right now, so that's always good. So we're losing, we're probably losing a lot of logs to these three campfires, to be honest with you. Um, I don't really know what else to do or say on it. I'm going to add in a couple more houses. Just like so. And we were at 24 beaver shot. Like I said, I think last time we maxed out at 34. So we literally have like 10 beavers to go. Even less because now we're at 26. Kind of wish they would have ex uh, expanded the demo just a little bit. I think they should have let you go into the third wet season. And then the next dry season after that just been like an endless drought that you just could not recover from. That's just me personally. You know, that way you got a little bit of time to experience some of the stuff. Because, I mean, right now we've got 324 science. We're... I mean, we might have been able to build a paper mill and the explosives factory and played with it, but uh, you really don't have time with with it being so uh, so slow or so fast, I should say. Maybe if they slowed it down and added in a couple days before the first dry season and a couple days in between the next one, you know, maybe you could have got a little bit of something extra done, but yeah. You have to be playing pretty hardcore to get some of these bigger, better items done and researched and all that kind of good jazz. So, but anyway, we've got our six water containers there. That's good. Two water pumps. They're going at it. We've got a couple storage buildings there doing all the food. Uh, we've got a handful of grilled potatoes right there. Our nutrition two is almost maxed out. We're at 22 out of 29. So that's pretty high. You know what? Let's see. Yeah, we've got two beavers there. Let me add another beaver there. I want one beaver's planting, one beaver's harvesting out of this farm. Well, so far, so good. I'm liking where we're at. We'll add three more water tanks up there just to add. So I'd like to survive the uh, next dry season with as many beavers as possible. I don't know how doable that is, but we'll see. Yes, y'all keep building those houses, beavers. 
So birth rate still hasn't went up a whole lot. I mean, we've got enough housing for 30 beavers now, and we're still only at 6 out of 15. Yeah, see, if that number would have been like 10 or anything higher, I would say that the campfires do add that benefit. But I'm not seeing it at all. I really don't think that's a thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that proves it's not a thing. So, I mean, increased housing at level 7. We're running off of plenty of food, plenty of water. Um, not a whole lot I could really do other than, you know, try to increase the social life a little bit more. But yeah, everything else is pretty much locked. I mean, I could try, I could try for the labor monument. It's only 200 logs, you know, only 200 logs. I don't think that's going to become a thing though. I kind of doubt it. And here comes the dry season. Yeah, I don't see it. Don't see it happening. We're at 32 beavers. We might be able to hit 36. Maybe. Probably going to hit 35 at most. But we'll see. It's still several days into the... Uh, into the dry season. So we might hit a higher number. Can't unlock labor monument. Not enough science points. It cost a thousand. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I was for some reason thinking it was going to be a lot less than that. No, nope, it's a thousand. Yeah, I don't even know. I mean, I guess if we had two of the research guys going, we'd probably have been at a thousand by now. So I guess it is possible. Turn that guy back on. Mm. 
See if we can't extend those over a little bit. Add in another set of lumberjack beavers. Thirty five beavers. Go ahead and put in another farmhouse just so we can increase our gather rate a little bit. Drop in a few extra houses right there. Oh, that dried up. Horrible. Still at five out of twenty one babies. Well, we did make it up to uh, thirty seven beavers, so we did make one higher. So I mean, our numbers are a little bit better. I just, I'm just wondering if it's from you know just setting the city up a little bit better versus anything else because I'm not really pushing towards, you know, future stuff. I'm just kind of maintaining what we got a little better. How low is that water getting? Not too low yet. Not too, too low. Man, this dry season takes forever. It is not a fast one. That is for sure. Yeah. 
So anyway, guys, how is your Beaver Games going? Are we liking the demo? Are we excited about the game? Are we ready for the next update? I'm ready for the next update. I want to see... I want to see some new features. I want to see some new types of beavers. I mean, we saw them, but I want to play with them, you know. Uh, I want to see some new buildings, maybe. Maybe a couple, you know, expanded upon game mechanics. Yeah, we've used just about every tree that we can reach over here. There we go. Yeah, this dry season is just super, super long. I'm interested to see what that next set of beavers is going to be. Not the uh, not the iron teeth, but the one after that. The mystery beavers. I am chomping at the bit, if you will, to see what they're going to put in there. Be very interested to see what it is. Could be something good. Might not be something good. I don't know. I don't know. We're up to 115 wood, so that's not too bad. Considering we're about a little, eh, little over a third, a little under a half on this dry season. Comfort's good. All that's good. Aesthetics is just a little bit low. I could probably use, you know, a little something somewhere. There we go. 39 beavers so far. Still not getting that uh that baby rate over over anything. Still pretty low. Alright guys, well I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run for a little while, let it run through the dry season, and we'll see, you know, if it comes to an end or if it keeps going, I'm pretty sure it's going to come to an end regardless of which map we're on, but I will bring y'all back as soon as we get a little bit further into it, because really there's nothing else I want to build right now, I mean we've got pumps, we've got water containers, you know, we've got stuff, um... I'm not going to get that science that I wanted for the, uh, there goes the dryness. There is the dryness right there, guys. There it is. So anyway, I'm going to pause this. We're going to let it run out and see how long it takes us. So give me a second. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So the water has officially been dried up, been gone. No more. We're going to start getting thirsty beavers. Uh, <laughs> I might not have prepared enough, uh, enough water deals here because we ended up with 45 beavers so far, 46, 47. Yes, we're getting close to 50 beavers. 
I don't know what the high is. Y'all let me know. What is the highest amount of beavers that you have gotten in your demo playthrough? Like I said, I wasn't trying to shoot for the highest number. I mean, I probably could have built extra housing. I probably could have done more pumps, you know, all that stuff. Extended it out some. But, eh. Everything's dying. It's all dried up. The thirsty beavers are coming out. They should start dropping. Oh, we had one die of thirst already. Already had one. He must have been the last one to get a drink. Or the first one to get a drink of the last set. Oh, there they go. There they go. Poor beavers. Down, down, down they go. Not bad, not bad. So another, another three set, uh, another three of the uh, water, water tanks. Eh, we probably could have made it till about now before they ran out completely. Bye, beavers. We're down to 21. 17. Those 11 are hanging on. Well, they were. <laughs> now it's down to 10. Too bad the berries didn't count towards like slowing the uh, slowing the death by thirst down a little bit. That'd be an interesting thing because no, I, as far as I know, no one ever runs berry fields. And to be honest, if you had like berries in your inventory and it slowed down the death of your beavers by like oh I don't know like twenty five percent on the dehydration. I think that would be kind of a cool thing, you know. Give them an extra 25% time to make it past uh, make it past where they were at. That's our last lonely beaver right here. This one. That guy. That little one. It's a baby, too. That is literally the lone surviving beaver right there. He's all by himself, guys. Oh, that was weird. All by himself. And out he goes. Oh, there it is. There it is. We had zero beavers alive. We had 42 beavers born. 53 beavers died. 944 logs. Carrots consumed. Trees cut. Total length of teeth grown was 610 centimeters. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for that. We've covered both of the maps on the demo. As of right now, I am still waiting to see if we get an update or, you know, what we get. So stay tuned to the channel, guys, because the soon as we get some more Timberborn action, we will be back. We will get right back into it. I do promise you that. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always... Feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys, just like to stop and take a moment and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.